How to video with your host, Chongo. Smiling, and sun kick in the bathroom. This is how you do things, yeah. Good evening, my fellow ladies and gents, and welcome to a brand new series we call How, how to. to. In this episode, we are doing how to make a Pokemon team. Right? Yeah. All right. Making a standard OU Pokemon team. This is Smiling Suncake. Along with Chongo. And here we go. It's going to be a brand new series up on Sundays. Sunday, Sundays. Along with a Let's Play video. It should be good. All right, guys. So, um, again, going to do a standard OU team. Going to tell you what natures to have your Pokemon, all four moves, what kind of situations you're going to want to put them in, etc. So, first thing you're going to do is you're going to want to lead with a Scarfed Infernape. Um, Hell yeah. I, as I mean by scarf, I mean choice scarf. Um, I'm not going to explain the complete and utter basics to everybody, but if you competitive Wi-Fi battle, you should know what I'm talking about. Um, you're going to want 252 uh, attack EVs. You're going to want 252 speed EVs and four defense EVs. So, again, you're going to want to lead with the scarf ape. Um, you're going to want to have the moves U-turn, flare blitz, close combat, and stone edge. So, you can use Stone Edge for Pokemon like Aerodactyl that like to lead for a solid two-hit KO. Um, you can U-turn out of most leads, um, unless they're Fake Out, and if you have Fake Out, there's something on this team to take that Fake Out rather well. Um, but most Stealth Rockers, um, Stone Edge, Close Combat, and Flare Blitz will hit lots of Pokemon rather hard, and if, if you're completely walled by that Pokemon, just go ahead and U-turn out into a counter. Um... Hell yeah! Again. <laughs> Fucking Christmas up in this shit. <laughs> Again, I actually really like this set. Um, a lot of people, because of Wild Chase, were unbanded in Infernape, so when you use Scarfape, a lot of people are surprised and they don't expect it, and um, you can actually KO some Pokemon that are usually faster, like Starmie. You get a solid 75% uh, damage you turn off. You, you turn into something else with priority, and you kill it instantly. I mean, it's just that easy. Again, 252 attack, 252 speed, 4 defense. You're going to want a, a jolly nature. You're going to want to make sure you have that extra speed to make sure you can outspeed everything because Infernape is rather frail. Um, a lot of people like to use this set with a Blaziken, but I actually prefer Infernape because you see, every time you see a Blaziken, almost, it's almost always going to be Scarf. Every time you see an Infernape, it's probably Banded. So, again, a lot of people won't expect this, so you're definitely going to want to use it. That was stanky. <laughs> I apologize. Right. So y'all need some spell vision. All right, next now, one. Next since motherfucker. Scarf Ape is weak to uh, flying, psychic, ground, um, flying, psychic, ground, water. Um, I like to run this poke with Fortress. Um, now for this Fortress, you're gonna want to run 252 defense EVs, 252 HP and um, four attack, or special defense, whichever you prefer. Um, its moves are going to be um, spikes, stealth rock, rapid spin, and explosion. Um, if you win the entry hazards game, you have a greater increased, much, much greater increased chance to win the battle. If they are constantly taking damage upon switching in, and they can't constantly switch in and switch out without getting hurt, it's going to make KOing them a hell of a lot easier. You're going to want to set up the three layers of spikes. You're going to want to set up Stealth Rock. You're going to want to Rapid Spin away their entry hazards, again, to win the entry hazards game. And then you're going to want to explode on a Pokemon that could possibly counter your team. <laughs> Oh god. Explode on a Pokemon. Yeah, you know. <laughs> and um, you can explode on a Pokemon that either <laughs> walls your team, or that could sweep you, or both. Like a Suicone, possibly. Um, possibly an Azel, a Gengar, something of the sort. Um, this set is pretty well walled by Gengar, so what you're going to want to do is... Um, you're going to want to switch into some type of Pokemon to... Um, Expecting either a Magnezone or a Ghost Pokemon to come in, which are the most likely things to come in because Magnezone has a uh, Magnet Pull and Hidden Power Fire, which will one hit KO this fortress. So you're definitely going to want to scout for that by switching into maybe Scarf Ape, so then you can Scarf U turn out of there. Something like that. Um, you're going to want to run a Impish Nature. Um, you're going to want to have Leftovers. So Leftovers, Impish Nature, Max Defense, Max HP. 
four in special defense or attack, I'd probably put it in special defense just so you can take hits a little bit better. Oh, yeah, I love left um, off with the delicious. <laughs> Um, so this Pokemon is weak to fire. I think that's it. I might be wrong. Don't correct me. Don't even bother. Don't um, do it. So, a Pokemon that can take fire type attacks and is a special wall. Yes, that one. <laughs> is Tentacruel. <laughs> Firewall. <laughs> is actually, uh, Tentacruel. Now, I actually really do enjoy this Tentacruel. Um, it's a supporting Tentacruel, just like the Fortress. You're gonna want to have Black Sludge as your item. You're gonna want the ability Liquid Ooze. You're gonna want a Calm Nature. You're gonna want 252 Special Defense, 252 HP, and 4 Speed. Um, you're gonna want to run Toxic Spikes, Rapid Spin, Surf, and Ice Beam. Um, instead of Ice Beam, you can run Sludge Bomb and Hidden Power Electric instead, but this team has a lough enough electric moves and no other ice moves so i'm gonna parry i'm gonna excuse me gonna carry the ice beam instead because uh i'm gonna need it to kill something like a gliscor or a flygon etc that could possibly switch in first thing you're gonna want to do with this tentacruel is start setting up toxic spikes now getting two layers of getting no layers of toxic spikes is better than getting one and i'll explain what i mean by that if you have one layer of toxic spikes, there's only regular poison that gets on your opponent. Now, that's actually really bad, because if you get that on a Suicune, or a, um, a Blissey, or something like that, then it's only gonna do a little bit of damage. You really need badly poison. So figure out if you're gonna be able to set up two layers of toxic spikes, and either set up two layers of to toxic spikes, or none, because one is not gonna cut it. It's really not. And again, this is all part of winning the Entry Hazards game. Toxic Spikes and Rapid Spin. You know, you get them up and you take theirs away. A second Pokemon with Rapid Spin, people usually don't carry that. I like to because, again, winning the Entry Hazards game is everything. Um, this is especially defensive Tentacruel to go along with a physically bulky Fortress. So that's a solid uh, group. The only problem is, is Fortress is neutrally hit by ground and Tentacruel is hit by ground super effectively. So what you're going to want to do next is you're going to want to have a Zapdos. Um, this is actually a specially bulky Zapdos, and this is actually something I um, half took from Smogon, but then I, I added a little twist that um, kind of confuses a lot of people and uh, actually really helps swing the game in my favor. You're going to want leftovers. You're going to want a calm nature, just like the Tentacruel. You're going to want 252 special defense EVs. You're going to want 252... Hell, a HP EVs, and you're going to want four speed EVs. You're going to want to carry Thunderbolt and Roost. Now, that's very common on especially bulky or even a physically bulky Zapdos. But what you're really going to want is not only Toxic, which a lot of people run, but instead of Heat Wave, because I have a Scarfed Infernape and another Pokemon with a Fire type move, I run Thunder Wave. Now, I use Thunder Wave because a lot of people will predict a Toxic, so they'll switch into a Steel type such as Lucario, that thinks they can just set up a free sword stance on the Switch, threatening with the Stone Edge. Oh, I love that motherfucker. He's in ball. <laughs> yes, he is. <laughs> if you use the Thunder Wave, then that Lucario is crippled, and it can't do anything, and you've basically eliminated a poke. So I run dual status um, Zapdos. Again, leftovers, calm, max special defense, max HP. Um... Thunderbolt, so you have an attacking move, Roost to roost off the damage, and this is where the previous uh, winning the entry hazards game really comes in. If they have Stealth Rock up, you're going to take a quarter of your health every time you switch in. That is going to add up, unless you can Roost constantly, which actually you can, a lot of times people will send in something with Stone Edge as you set up maybe a, a Toxic or something. Let's say you let's say you Thunder Wave predicting a switch, and they switch into Gliscor, which is immune to the Thunder Wave and can threaten with a Stone Edge. A quarter of your health is gone, and you have to switch out, which means by the time you switch in next, you'll only have half your health. So, Roosting is actually a priority, um, but also using Thunder Wave over Toxic is also a priority, because if you can make something slower, something can either set up on it, or you can um, KO it easily with uh, your Scarfed Infernape. So, again, specially defensive... Zapdos, specially defensive Tentacruel, physically defensive Fortress, and a max attack Scarfed Infernape. Now, since this team is already bulky, I decided oh, to have two more. 
Uh, I gotta grab my battery. Go I'll be right back. Go, go do it. How long um, are you going for? I don't know. Let's check. We have currently been going for ten minutes. Okay, so the last two again are gonna have um, are gonna be sweepers because this team is based around setting up entry hazards, um, crippling other Pokemon, and then you switch into one of these last two sweepers and you get off a sweep. So um, the fifth Pokemon on my team is actually probably my favorite, um, is the Azelf. Now I've talked about this Azelf before and how I really do enjoy this Azelf. This Azelf ends up carrying um, Flamethrower, Psychic, and Grass Knot, which is pretty standard, and then Nasty Plot. This is the Nasty Plotting set on Smogon, I believe. I actually don't have it up right now. You're going to want Max Special Attack, 252 in Special Attack, Max Speed, 252 Speed, and you're going to want I'm four. Back! <laughs> you're going to want four in either defense or special defense, whichever you prefer, because I do believe Azelf starts off with an odd number of health. Um, what you're going to want to do with this Azelf is you're going to want to scout the rest of your their team with the Tentacruel, the Fortress, and the Zapdos, and also the Infernate by using U-Turn. You're going to eliminate any kind of counters like a Dark type, like an Umbreon that could really wall this um, Azelf. And then once that's out of the way, this thing is free to sweep. You're definitely going to want a Timid Nature. Make sure you can outspeed the other poke, because if you don't outspeed, you're either going to get one shot or you're going to be really low health, and since you're going to be carrying a Life Orb... Um, Life Orb increases the power of moves, but you take damage after every time you use an attacking move. So, again, you're going to want Life Orb, you're going to want Timid, you're going to want Max Special Attack, you're going to want Max Speed, you're going to want 4 in either Defense or Special Defense. Again, Nasty Plot, Flamethrower, Grass Knot, and Psychic. Psychic is going to be your main stab move, but Grass Knot is there to take out things like Swampert. You're going to want Flamethrower for things like Fortress or a Scizor or something of the sort. Yeah, I'm going with um, the winky face on this shit. <laughs> I, mean, I ain't fooling around anymore. Fuck. So again, um, the way I built this team is uh, Infernape can scout, um, Fortress to take physical hits, Tentacruel to take special hits, Zapdos to cripple things and take other special hits. So I figured instead of having another bulky Pokemon, I figured um, why not have another fast Pokemon? And I figured one of the fastest Pokemon in the game, who can also set up and sweep, is Jolteon. Um, since Jolteon is pure electric, um, you're going to end up having three things weak to um, ground. That might seem bad, but you also have Azelf and Zapdos who are immune to ground. So um, you have two different options. In case one is dead, you can switch in the other one safely. Jolteon is also weak to... I believe it's also weak to rock but i'm not sure yes it is it is weak to rock is it possibly i don't know um but it's for sure weak to ground which is bad news um but again jolteon can almost outspeed anything that isn't scarfed unless it's an aerodactyl i believe it's outsped by aerodactyl by two um so unless it's a jolly aerodactyl because you're gonna want to again run a timid nature um, you're going to want Timid, you're going to want Leftovers, which might seem weird, but um, it'll make sense in a minute. You're going to want Max Special Attack, 252 Special Attack. You're going to want four Defense or Special Defense EVs. Um, I usually prefer Defensive EVs. Um, that's just... Actually, it doesn't really matter because um, both Special and Physical Pokemon like to switch into this guy. Usually Special Defensive Pokemon carry... Um, special moves, so I actually like special defense over defense, thinking about it. And you're going to want max speed. Again, max speed, max special attack, timid nature with leftovers. This is a, um, this is mostly for the Azelf. Um, you have Baton Pass, Substitute, Hidden Power Grass, and Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt, again, as an attacking move, your stab attack, because if you set up a sub and something comes in that's like a Vaporeon or something, then you might as well Thunderbolt it. Now, the chances of a Vaporeon coming in are very small, but you definitely want a powerful stab attack to hit something like a Dust Noir, possibly. You're going to want Hidden Power Grass for Swamp Hurts, which are very common. Um, Mamoswine also likes to come in against Jolteon because it can block the Thunderbolt, then just one hit, one hit KO it with uh, Earthquake. You're going to want to start off with setting up a sub. 
uh, predicting the switch because usually people will switch when you have a Jolteon out, and if not, then you're faster. You'll be able to set up a sub, see what they're going to do. If they're going to keep attacking, then you can either baton pass out. You can use Hidden Power Grass if it's a Swampert that's just continually hitting you with Earthquake. Or you can Thunderbolt if it's um, a Pokemon that's neutral against Electric. Um, again, you're going to want to mainly use this Pokemon as a setup for Azelf. Because if you can Baton Pass a sub into Azelf because they're using a Ground type move. Let's say, for instance, a Gliscor comes in. And you set up a sub. Then you Baton Pass out into your Azelf. That is a free Nasty Plot because they have to break your sub still. So, if you predict a ground type move, go into a Levitator. Even if you want to go into Zapdos to try and Toxic or Thunder Wave something to cripple it, so then Azelf can come in later, or even Scarf Ape can outspeed it. Let's say it's a Scarfed. Ooh, what's something that's fast that is usually Scarfed? Let's I'm say. About to puke. Why? I ate too many M&Ms. <laughs> and you're going to eat more, aren't you? Yep. If there's a Scarf Jolteon, there you go. Um and you need to outspeed it, you can baton pass the sub to Infernape. It has to break your sub, and then you kill it with a close combat. Again, this team is mostly winning the Entry Hazards game, and eventually sweeping with either Azelf or Scarfed Infernape, usually with close combat, because Flare Blitz gives you recoil, Stone Edge can miss, and U-Turn makes you have to switch. So... Again, thanks for joining me, guys. Um, I hope this was kind of helpful. We're good? Uh, yeah, we're pretty good. All right. no, don't end it yet. Don't end it yet. Just get get prepared. I'm getting um, ready. Again, thanks, you guys, for joining. Um, this Wow, it was actually 16, 17 minutes of uh, information, but hopefully it helps you guys all out. Um, again, cool. Scarfape, Physically Defensive Fortress, Specially Defensive Tentacruel and Zapdos, uh, Special Sweeping Azelf, and a... Special sweeping slash sub passing Jolteon. Um, hope this team works out. If you guys want to make it and uh, comment below on how it's working out, uh, that'd be great. I'm going to probably be looking at this page a couple of times and uh, answering any questions. And yes, there will be counters to this team. I'm not saying it's perfect by any, me any means of the word. I mean, if somebody has a, let's say, a Scarfed Flygon, that's going to one-shot my Scarfabe, it's going to one-shot my Tentacruel, and it's going to one-shot my Jolteon, which is bad. But every team has its counters. No team is perfect no. because it's just not, you know? But again, if you just try and you win can... the Entry Hazards game, then you're probably going to have a better chance of winning. You're going to comment on this shit, right? Yeah. Should if... we let them know what your, uh, oh, um, your username my is? My so username is uh, PackRock001. So I put that um, in the channel. Possibly. But basically, if you ask a question, and, you know, if you're asking a polite question, like, oh, what should I do if, you know, a this poke switches into this, you know, what could I possibly do? No offense, um, but Smiling Suncake Studios isn't going to respond because I don't know the answer. Yeah, so, if you ask a question about the metagame, or you want to ask a question, either privately message me, or if you comment on this uh, video, I should be able to see it and respond to it. Um, again, black and white is coming out soon, so I don't know how much this team will work in black and white, because there's a lot of different pokes. I'm um, probably going to do a different video for a black and white team, but for right now, for Heart Gold, um, I like this team. I really do. I think it works well if you can win the Entry Hazards game, if you can set up with Jolteon, switch into Azelf, and try and sweep from there. Alright? Thank you guys again for joining us. Um, more of these to come. Don't think they'll be this long, but more I had to get yeah. I had to get all of the stuff in there. And uh, again, if you have any questions, post it in the comments. I personally will be responding on my own channel. Pretty sure. So the way this video is gonna work. Every Sunday, we're always gonna do a let's play video. But always. This will be up tambien. That's two in Spanish. <laughs> Next week. We will probably, I think after this, we're going to make a how to make a let's play video, and that one's going to be good, so check it out. Alright, so, and also, um, I am not a genius at Pokemon. I'm, I'm not saying I am. I'd say I'm a pretty decent battler. I don't know everything about the game. I really don't. If you need help, go to Cerebi, go to Smogon, go to Bulbapedia. Choice Specs! <laughs> ask Choice Specs. Ask... 
PK Sparks, ask Quandao Ren, ask Xerxes, ask Xenon, ask Hayden, go to Poke Mosh Pit. There are tons of different resources, okay? I'm just one person giving you a general idea of how to build a team that has a chance to do well in the current metagame, alright? So again, thank you for joining us. Hopefully there's going to be a lot of these how-to videos. Hope you guys really do enjoy this because I had a lot of fun making this personally. It's going to so, be good. It's going to be good. Again, hope you guys enjoyed. Don't hate on it too much. I mean, if there's maybe something like, oh, you're walled by Flygon, I'll be like, okay, I'm sorry, but you do have Ice Beam on Tentacruel, so hopefully if you can live and predict the switch, then maybe you can do something about it. Again, I am rambling, so I will see you guys yes. next time. Yes. <laughs> we'll see you guys next week with more how-to videos. All right, later, guys.